you use Azure Machine Learning Designer to publish an inference pipeline. Which parameters should you use to access the web service? Select two correct options. The options are A. The REST endpoint B. The training endpoint C. The model name D. The authentication key The correct answer are the REST endpoint and the authentication key. You need the REST endpoint to send requests to the model and the authentication key to securely access the service. You are building a Q&A maker bot by using a frequently asked questions page and need to add professional greetings and other responses to make the bot more user-friendly. What should you do? The options are A. Enable active learning. B. Create multi-turn questions. C. Increase the confidence threshold of responses. D. Add chit-chat. The correct answer is add chit-chat. Adding chit-chat to a Q&A maker bot provides predefined responses for common conversational phrases like greetings or casual questions, making the bot more engaging and user-friendly. What is the purpose of vector-based embeddings? Select the correct option. The options are A. To correct misspellings in the training data. B. To represent semantic meaning of text tokens. C. To create tokens that include multiple representations of a word in different languages. The correct option is to represent semantic meaning of text tokens. Vector-based embeddings are used to capture and represent the semantic meaning of words or text tokens in a continuous vector space. Words with similar meanings are represented by vectors that are close to each other in this space, which helps in understanding context and relationships between words. What metrics can you use to evaluate a regression model? Select two correct options. The options are A. F1 score B. Area under curve C. Root mean squared error D. Coefficient of determination The correct answer are Root mean squared error and coefficient of determination root mean squared error. This measures the average magnitude of the errors between predicted and actual values. A lower RMSE indicates a better fit. Coefficient of determination. This indicates the proportion of variance in the dependent variable that is predictable from the independent variables. A higher R superscriptive value indicates a better fit. You need to map the right type of natural language processing workload for following scenario. Be able to evaluate text along with a positive-negative scale which of the following would you map to this requirement? The options are A. Language modeling B. Sentiment analysis C. Key phrase extraction D. Translation The correct answer is sentiment analysis. For evaluating text along a positive-negative scale, sentiment analysis is the appropriate natural language processing workload. Sentiment analysis determines the sentiment expressed in a text, categorizing it as positive, negative, or neutral. You are building an AI-based app and need to ensure that the app uses the principles for responsible AI. Which two principles should you follow? The options are A. Establish a risk governance committee that includes members of the legal team, 
members of the risk management team, and a privacy officer. B. Implement an agile software development methodology. C. Implement a process of AI model validation as part of the software review process. D. Prevent the disclosure of the use of AI-based algorithms for automated decision-making. The correct answer are establish a risk governance committee that includes members of the legal team, members of the risk management team, and a privacy officer and implement a process of AI model validation as part of the software review process. Establish a risk governance committee that includes members of the legal team, members of the risk management team, and a privacy officer. This ensures that ethical and legal considerations are addressed and that the use of AI aligns with regulatory requirements and ethical standards. Implement a process of AI model validation as part of the software review process. This ensures that AI models are thoroughly tested and validated for accuracy, fairness, and reliability before deployment. You decided to use the computer vision service to analyze set of images, which has locations, to identify well-known buildings. What should you do? The options are, A. Retrieve the categories for the image, specifying the landmark's domain. B. Retrieve the categories for the image, specifying the celebrity's domain. C. Retrieve the objects in the image. The correct answer is retrieve the categories for the image, specifying the landmark's domain. This option is specifically tailored for identifying landmarks and well-known buildings, making it the most appropriate choice for this task. You have a website that includes customer reviews. You need to store the reviews in English and present the reviews to users in their respective language by recognizing each user's geographical location. Which type of natural language processing workload should you use? The options are A. Translation B. Speech recognition C. Key phrase extraction The correct answer is translation. This will enable you to translate the reviews from English into the user's preferred language based on their geographical location.